This playthrough is rated T for teen. It's time for us to find a boat and get the heck out of here. On to the you know, wonderful sea. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, we're back here with another exciting episode of Front Mission 4 in the last episode. We went to uh, um, a town that Latona knows all too well to see her uncle, but found out he's a gun runner. And the the ones he was going to buy was from Chang, or from, uh, from the South American continent. So he made his way all the way over here in the time he met Daryl and the crew, and, uh, well, I had an alarm on it and sent the Zaptran troops after us, so now we must escape this place with our lives. Um, so let's head on to it. Before we continue, let's go to the Bonzer shop. I need to buy a couple items. I don't know if I'll have to use them, but, uh, well, this will be the first episode in a while we'll have to worry about EMP backpacks that actually will affect us more than one turn, uh, unlike the previous one. So let's get to it. We need to buy a couple of remove alls, just in case. Otherwise, this will severely hit, hurt our uh, attacking potential. Let's also change all of our armor types to piercing. And, okay, whoops. Okay, and then may, just make sure everyone's like, links are uh, set up and ready to go. I think everyone's still pretty good, so. I mean, that's pretty much it. I don't have to really buy, I mean, you can buy stuff if you really want to. I don't need to, but if you need to beef up or whatever, not that this fight's super difficult, but there is a hidden objective in here, like a lot of the fights. But uh, let's start the mission and see what uh, what prevails in front of us. It's pretty far away, isn't it? Now, one of the cool things about this this fight, uh, especially in rainstorms, I don't know if I brought this up before, is as you can see, if you look at the front screen in front of us, can you see the little drips of water hitting it as a, if rain's hitting the camera or whatever? I think I remember the first time I saw this was like in Metal Gear Solid 2, and I, I don't know, I just thought that was such a cool technical detail. I was like, man, this is the this is the future of gaming. Obviously, this is I was more of a console guy than a computer guy. Computer guys probably were dealing with this stuff on a regular basis, like with games like Crisis. But for me, it was just something so impressive. So I just like the attention to detail. They could have easily have not done that, you know. Uh, but yeah, it is pretty far away, Bosch. We'll just have to fight our way through. <laughs> like every other fight, pretty much. I'll destroy whoever is in my way. Well, Latona's pissed, just like Elsa was in that one bite. I'm not sure if I'm scared or turned on. Maybe both. Well, scared or turned on, we've got a fight ahead of us. So yeah, we have to escape the uh, uh, the harbor and get to the boat that Chang has. So let's uh, set everyone up. All right. Not that this is the perfect setup or anything like that, just a reasonable one here. So, okay. So like I said, this one isn't particularly difficult per se, but there's a lot of factors in here that you can be worried about. So. First of all, we got a, a few uh, um, assaulters and Type 65 X's again. Um, with their machine gun plus two, they can do like 23 damage, something like that, 27. Um, obviously with piercing, we'll reduce that. That's why I wanted to set piercing. We have some others here, but piercing is probably gonna be our most common uh, thing. And that guy uh, uh, ties to this guy over here. But anyway, uh, how many soldiers we got? We got one, uh, so we got one like, I think we've got like three or four, I think. Yeah, there's two right there. He's linked up to that sensor guy right there. Um, and yeah, there's another one right there, so that's three. I thought there was a fourth one. Maybe it's just three. No, there's another guy, four right there, and he's combined with his two guys. But yeah, they're all the same, no skills. But, uh, you know, they have their decent evasion, unfortunately. So, yeah, they've got 15 plus whatever their legs are. So I think... Um, I think they have like a 30% evasion, 33 or something high like that, so it's going to be kind of annoying. Next group of guys we have are the EMP backpacks. Yeah, we haven't seen these guys in a while. These guys have attack, um, no attack, so when they hit you, they they prevent your unit from doing any attack options. So, And they can do some melee with plus two, which can do like 110 damage or something like that. But yeah, I don't have to worry about the damage too much. Really, they're they'll mainly use their turns to EMP backpack you unless you like surround them and then, then they'll do melee. But, so it can be very annoying because as a 50-50 chance of working, if it works, the only way to get rid of it is either through um, uh, Hermes' um, repair backpack or with, in this case, Elsa, since I bought those repair alls. So 
But yeah, they can be kind of annoying if they actually activate, so be careful about that. But like I said, it will give us a couple ways to do that. I think we have actually a few. I think we have like two EMP backpackers around here, I believe. Yeah, there's another one right here. Um, yeah, no skills and no links on that. Okay, next is the sensor backpacks. Like before, the L missiles will hit you if you're right next to them, so they're another top priority. They won't. They don't do a ton of damage. They'll do like 12 damage or something like that if they hit, but you know it can add up really quick. Um, maybe 14. I'm always off by the numbers. So there's a sensor guy there. There's a sensor guy. Um, oh, sorry, over here. Uh, I think that's it. I think it's just the two sensor units um, right there. And then next we've got the sniper uh, snipers, like all every all all time. So. We've got two in rifles, so they can do like 200, like 30 damage or something like that. So this is mainly why we want the piercing is for these guys, and they've got all got zoom, so high chance to hit. I think there's two of them. Yeah, uh, two. I'm trying to remember, if there's a secondary one. I don't think so. I think I'm, um, yeah, just the two snipers, but that can really hurt. And finally, the last opponent for this fight is the Missilers. Now, these guys are very important because the hidden objective is this, is to beat uh, these two Missilers by turn 15, which is roughly the turn you want to finish this anyway. But if we can beat these guys by turn 15, we can get the uh, unlock another simulation. So, um, yeah, they're linked to a couple of people over there, which may or may not occur, depending on you do. they got Missiles plus two, so they only do, like, like... 65 plus damage or something like that. Um, I think it's a bit more than that, like maybe 70, but it's that's not the biggest threat. That's why I didn't want to do fire for this. And there's two missilers um, right there. This guy's linked with those guys. My, the biggest thing is basically to go after them. And I wouldn't say skip everyone, but kind of charge towards them is the really the thing you want to do. So, and then we'll kind of, basically what we want to do is we want to charge these guys first and then head towards this way whenever we finished everyone else. So, all right, anyway. With that out of the way, let's uh, make our way for the targets. All right, I think I want to get rid of. Yeah, jammers are probably the your are the um, EMP backpacks are the biggest threat. Right now. Oh, and they've got pretty high um, evade too. Not as high as these guys, but they can evade. So. Yeah. All right, get one shot on you. I'm just seeing what my options are. Yeah, unfortunately, the is not going to make it, so... Oh, well. Yeah, we'll have a turn, a dead turn, unfortunately, but that just, that's just how it is. Now it's like Bosch is only going to get a turn by himself, so... Might just move him here, because if that guy can move forward enough... Well, actually, it depends on how he moves the backpack. Sometimes he'll move up and attack and not... Oh, he could melee here anyway, but melee... Yeah, we'll move. Actually, we'll move right here. Well, actually, I could hit him there. You and you're tied with uh, Bosch, so let's have Bosch get up first, and then we'll have Hermes uh, attack, and then we'll try to see if we can do some extra damage. They'll probably dodge, but you never know. And since no one's gotten hit, I can freely attack with Hermes in this case. So, yeah, let's see what happens. Start. I did some damage. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, those guys aren't going to move for quite a while, at least until we defeat those targets. So. Nice. Excellent. Ooh -hoo. Off to a good start, Bosch. That's why I put you in the front. So, uh oh. Yeah, I have to I have to sweat there when when the sensor backpack goes off, because you might I might have to waste a turn healing uh, their condition. Although with Hermes, it's not a bad deal because he's supposed to be healing every turn anyway. But if he gets hit, I have to use I have to waste Elsa's turn on that and have to get her maneuvered enough to uh, help with the link that type of thing. So I want to have him weaken or I kind of want to get rid of that guy because like I said, he, every time I leave him alive, he, he has a turn to uh, uh, mess, mess me up. So. Yeah, let's just try to fix them off as best we can. Okay. Yeah, probably should move a bit closer. Uh, yeah, let's go with Latona. Not 
bad. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, she missed. Oh well. Nice. At least I got that. Okay. No one got hit. Did anyone? No one got hit that turn, right? So I can, I can uh, move uh, you a bit. And then let's get Elsa in a good position. Yeah, let's, get the, let's get the shotgun on him. Not bad. Ooh, got a perfect shot. Oh, very good. Bad turn. They didn't. Do, they didn't do like a million dodge points or whatever. So you know that that's that's something at least. Usually they'll dodge like a mother, you know, on you. And you're like no. But that's what we have missiles for. Just in case we get a good shot with a with a Z there, because then we can hit them in the leg. I want to keep going forward, so this guy's going to eventually move towards us anyway, so we want to keep moving towards our intended target. Um, I'm just trying to think of I want to keep Z moving. Z might also, Z might run out of ammo by the end of this fight too, depending on how it goes. So we'll see what happens. Ooh, his legs, man. Yeah, this guy's done for then at this point. Um, uh, I'm just trying to think of I want to... Better to finish off the target, and then I can have Zed attack him on his next turn, so. since you can't dodge anymore. Yeah. It's... Actually, there's, well, let's see. Yeah, let's go over there, so. Let's just get everyone dogpiling on Expect to finish off. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, let's just move everyone forward. Unfortunately, that means I'm probably going to get smacked a few times by the uh, missile guy, but like I said, he is our intended target, so we need to take these guys out as soon as we can so we can get. Basically, what we want to do is we want to destroy him and then run towards the other missiler and uh, um, finish him off while the other. While they will, while those two guys, the sniper and the gunner, will chase after us on their turn. So yeah, you've got a pretty long range. I'm just trying to think if I want to go ahead and take the hit and but get some extra damage in. Now yeah, we'll uh, we'll call it a dead turn. Well, uh, not as effective as I'd like it to be. What I'm going to do is I'm basically going to destroy the missile and then have everyone run back towards the other group, and I'm going to have. Zed try to missile the sniper and the other guy to get them to chase after him, basically. So, all right, let's have you obviously tackle uh, you. Since the missile is going to be immune to the, well, not immune, but I would. Ooh, we got really lucky there. Went straight for the legs. It's always a good day when the legs get taken out. Oh yeah, we gotta be careful about this guy just because of his, he has, you know, EMP backpack, so. Okay. That's just something I don't have to worry about. Just have to have them. Okay, let's have... I'm yeah, just trying to think of how I wanna, if I wanna just... So what's your you have impact armor, so I wanna hit you with and We haven't taken too much damage, so I don't have to worry about Hermes. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out when I when I wanna go. A little bit Because of his, you know, less slink or whatever. Because we're gonna be starting to take damage later on anyway, might as well. All right, everyone bust on in. Yeah, so he does like do damage with his weapon, but he's not—he's not there to do damage. He's a sensor backpack guy, so his 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 thing is to get the missiler more range. So, unfortunately, it means we're gonna get hit by two of the missilers at this point. This guy. 
guy, but unless we get extremely lucky, which I doubt it, but we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, I forgot about perfect shot. That does do a ton of damage. So. Yeah, you always want to get perfect shot if you can, but the reason I equip so many different abilities is because I want something to activate. So even if it's not perfect shot, I want something to go. So yeah, we got lucky so that she activated perfect shot, so we were able to. Um, so we'll get only get missiled by him and not like his other companions. So. And we'll have a Z missile the EMP backpack. Probably from where he's at. Let's see if I can move. No, did I move? I moved to, actually, probably. Yeah, probably where he's at. The only problem I have to worry about is him using EMP on me. I forgot what the range of the backpack is, but it's not bad. Let's get the tone in there first. Yeah, this guy's got guy's a beefy boy. But yeah, you're not really that big of a threat when it comes to like what you're actually gonna be doing, so. I might just do that just to give have a her go again despite him not being able to combo with the yeah, let's see. What's your health like? Yeah, you got hit in the legs. Probably best to heal you. Yeah. You're good. Yeah, we'll just have a... We'll use some shotguns for you. Oh well, you can't get all of them. You can't always get. Well, all right then. <laughs> sure. We want to make him one-eyed, one-armed Willy. Sure, why not? Yeah, that's there. We're gonna move. Okay, good. I didn't think his backpack was good enough to uh, do that. So. Ow. Yeah, he's running away though. I don't like that. I don't. I don't like it when the AI just like starts hiding. You know, like that. So. Okay, I was hoping I was hoping to get lucky with the legs again, but hmm. Ugh. I was hoping not to be like in their range. Cause basically I'm gonna as soon as I destroy them, I'm I'm leaving, so they can chase after me all they want, so hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll have to get Latona in there, so because I I need the damage from, from them, so or from her, so because that you know, missilers are beefy, so Ah, oh, no. I didn't realize she was going to try to shoot through that. What was the hit to it? Like 10% or whatever? Great. I was assuming she couldn't hit because of uh, where... Oh, he's almost dead. Because of where she was standing, I assume he was just blocked off from any attack. So I was like, oh, okay. She's not going to try to hit anyway. But, okay, then. We might finish him off, though. We might get Yeah, we'll have, a, have to have a Latona run away from these guys. Can I even do any good damage? Oops. Or even get a couple shots in. Not really. I get one. I might take out his arms at best. Eh, let's try it. Not that they're really... Oh, that's right, he's still linked, so it only costs three to cut, so... Oh, they're not moving. That's right. They, they, their AI is weird. They won't attack until either a lot of people are destroyed or they're antagonized via, like... Um, uh, here. Well, at least I can Hermes... Uh, I was about to say, I gotta just have Hermes heal that, so... Not a big deal. Let's see if I can... I don't think I'm close enough to be able to hit... 
No, crap. Yeah, not close enough. I need a. But if I move too far, he'll, uh, I, I'll admit, I'm, I'm always pretty bad about moving Zed. I might just have him attack uh, these guys. And then on his next turn, I'm going to have him uh, activate the other guys by shooting at them, so... Because we got to get to that other missile before turn 15. I just want to get them in a, a decent position before I start. Yeah, this is another kind of one of those like four turns. You're like, eh, I wish I could, I wish I could be better. Yeah, I need a mover somewhere else because he's got a. Just because he's got impact resistance. So. Backpack for you. You're done for that. So we are done for the day. You may go. Yeah, unfortunately, you're not gonna really be dodging. If you if you miss, then it's because of your pure percentage. Now, what are you doing? See, it's not supposed to get hit. Actually, he might be close enough for rockets. Oh, well, there's only one missile left, so it's not like him get hit with a rocket's gonna hurt me too badly. Oh, I guess I must have just been just out of range. Okay. Yeah, should be close. No, I can hit this guy at least. Yeah, I don't know how I'm supposed to be able to hit them with those rockets. I shouldn't be able to because of the way the arc works, but it does. But it doesn't work the other way around, though. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I might have to move Z closer to hit the sniper, though, because I can't. I thought I could hit him from here for some weird reason. Okay, we need to get rid of Unfortunately, I'm going to get hit by some missiles, so there's not much I can do on that. But. So I can at least shotgun him. Um, I can get... Let's see, can I hit him there? Yeah, so we'll leave him there. And then... Even though he has impact resistance, I'd rather get two shots than one. So. Uh, I knew that was going to happen. I really did. But I was. Want to get my chances, you know? Okay, good. I just had to hit the one guy. I wasn't sure if I had to hit both or not. Sometimes it's weird with the AI. Uh, yeah, keep hitting me. Whatever. It's not supposed to be kind of on the, the cusp of being attacked. But... Stop hitting Z. He's, he's not designed for this. He's not designed for hitting. Oh, I was just out of range for the uh, those guys, huh? Interesting. Um, I will have to... Well, they can't hit me on this turn with Z anyway, so... Yeah, I, I want to hit the sensor guys. I want to hit him so badly. Ooh, almost completely wrecked him, but too bad it wasn't in the legs where I wanted it to be, but hey. All right, start this off, Latona. Come on, get him in the, get him in the legs. No! <laughs> you fiend! Oh, good. He didn't dodge that attack, at least. I shouldn't have said anything. Me and my hubris. There we go. <laughs> uh, should never say anything because I'm, I'm just tempting. I'm tempting fate, my friends, when I say stuff like that. Can I back? Uh, no, I can't. I moved Z too far. No, well. Him with 
shotgun at that range, so. Oh, that's right. I forgot he has another, another one. And... Marta. I mean, I probably shouldn't be moving him back, per se, but I want to make sure heals need. He needs the heals. He got, he got kind of hosed there. Okay, yeah, we're just going to have them chase after us for quite a while. While we go after the other missile. Whew. A, man, that guy really has a bug up his butt for, for him. And luckily, the missiles have now started moving now that we've killed a lot of the dudes. So, how many turns have we got left? Ten. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to rush it for the missile. I, I was. Cu I'm cutting it pretty close. I better avoid the. I better avoid the noise in this case. And, Um, I need. Well, the reason I want to fight this guy though is because he's kind of he's kind of perturbing um, Z there. So I need to like at least get him his legs out or something like that. I'm kind of hoping you did. Oh my god, someone hit his legs. Please. Thank you. Okay. Alright, we gotta... Yeah, we really gotta move forward and uh, get towards that missile. Luckily, he will be moving towards us because now how things are working right now. But I probably took too long dealing with the, this group. You know? So. Yeah, I gotta hurry. Yeah, I'm not very good at, uh, what was the word, just figuring out. Yeah, I, I have to ignore you guys. I'm sorry. You're chasing after me, but luckily you're, you're chasing after Watona, so luckily I can just kind of keep moving her. I'll probably just have Z keep, like, messing with them, maybe. Um, yeah, you guys are moving pretty slow, too. You're kind of just, like, going up slowly but surely, so. All right, looks like the rain stopped for the most part. Because I want to keep, you know, doing damage to him while, while the others head towards the missile. Okay. Yeah, I just gotta... Oops. Okay. Unfortunately, it means we're gonna get missiles a couple times, but... Uh, I need to, like I said, I need to move as far as I can, so... I need to at least be able to counter once if I can. Yeah. If he really gets down to it, I'm gonna. Actually, next turn I'll have Cryo just go move straight forward and uh, um, hit the sniper and gunner on that other one, too. Sniper's gonna have enough movement to uh, really affect me for a hot turn. So. Now, maybe I should have stepped back just a little bit further so I could get the missile to move a little bit closer to me. Oh, I should probably show you. Actually, I'll. I was thinking maybe I should use shotgun, but. No. But now I can't. Nice little sister. Doing good. Doing the Lord's work. Ah, see, it works both ways, jerks. Okay. Yeah, I've got three more turns. This is cutting it a little close, I'll admit. Closer than I wanted, all of, uh, in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, I probably took too long dealing with that one group. I should have just kind of ran for it and and hope for the best, that type of thing. At least you're 
dodge isn't that great. Nice double shot. There we go. That's what we want. Just because it does like almost 50 damage per per shot, so it's, you know. Definitely cutting this a lot closer than I should be. I wasn't actually expecting to be this the like this close. Ah, sheesh. Man, this is like one of the few times he's getting hit the most out of everyone, so. I should be able to finish him off just because we've got oh wow. That's not good. Might have to restore our arm, maybe. We'll see who he hits. Or no one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're hiding in the back here. I'm gonna go ahead and actually hit the missileer. Despite him having resistance. Oh, I was hoping I'd get like perfect shot or impact shot or something like that. That way I'd actually, you know, improve my damage, but Cause yeah, I gotta get him by turn fifteen. Even if I don't finish this by turn fifteen, I have to beat him. Or I have to beat all the missilers by turn fifteen. So Get at least one turn. Let's see. Is that enough? No, I don't need to go. I hit him from there. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll have Bosch come in and get Latona to get another hit. Because she tends to do quite a bit of damage to this guy. Nice. I would have preferred double strike, but. We'll take what we can get. Man, I always like getting perfect shots just because it, it does so much damage. There's a Bosch in there. Yeah, unfortunately I can't get I can't get multiple shots, unfortunately, but at least we get one. Legs, at least, I guess. Unfortunately, it means he's probably gonna missile Z, though. No, leave him alone. What do you ever do to you? No. Man. Yep. Uh oh, this is gonna hurt. Mainly because it's gonna probably blow up all of his arms. Or not. Okay. Cool. The only, the only problem with this setup is basically it's proven. Oh, and for some reason the AI is keeps charging forward for some reason. This, this the only problem with this build with Zed is basically it proves that you shouldn't like. It, it's a risk having um, Zed like have weak arms basically to to keep the weight down so I can actually give him quite high maneuverable uh, uh, legs. At least he won't dodge anymore. That's good. I might have to. Let's see. And he's still got a bit of damage, so I guess I'll leave. Uh, leave our uh, leave Latona over here to help with the group damage. Let's see what happens. Maybe we'll hit that body shot. There we go. Now it's just cleanup at this point. Okay, Bosch. Yeah, we'll just have you all set up to help uh, um, Elsa with that. Unfortunately, you're going to chase. If I don't hit anyone there. Oh, 
Well, I wanted to heal Zed, but... It says I can still hit there, but I, I almost don't trust it sometimes just because of the way the numbers work. Or the numbers have been working for me, so... Oh, he can't move anymore, so never mind. Zed's safe. I forgot I blew out his legs. So... Let's just uh, let's just take out um, take this guy out. I was about to say get something, <laughs> like pan shot or something. There we go. I just had to wait for a sniper, another guy to. I'll admit, uh, I, I, was, I thought I'd have this fight a bit more efficiently tuned out, but apparently I, I was a little off. Yeah, for some reason, AI is a... Uh, I should have attacked him at some point, so I could have kept him in a... Um, uh, what's the word? Like in attack range or whatever, but unfortunately he moved out of range, so... Ah, oh, no, well, all right. You've only got a couple more shots anyways, Z. You're about out of ammo, so... Yeah, this, unfortunately this fight's going to take a little bit longer because the AI decided to... Uh, keep going because I didn't attack him for some reason. thinking like, I don't know about that. Okay, stop moving. I think he's done with his move. Though. Man, 16 turns. Man. I was hoping to be a bit more efficient with this, but... Okay, he's still in there. No, he's out of range. So. I'll save that the missile for the other guy. Since he's got high evade. I'm not actually sure why the the oh well, but she doesn't get a huge loss there. So I was thinking for a second, I was like, uh oh, she's hitting something. But like, oh wait, no, or she's in between something. No, this thing doesn't give that much protection because really it's pretty pretty big open area. So. Yeah, might as well just move Bosch up so we can interact with the the target as soon as we can. So. Should be because of just some weird weirdness going on. Well, I, I, either way, I did get the uh, um, uh, the missilers. That's really the big the big thing. So, and I did get a bit unlucky in a few circum bit of circumstances. So, okay, last missile. Luckily, those bars don't count as a, a, you know um, obstructions. Otherwise, that would be very annoying. But, um, alright. Yeah, let's just start wrecking this guy. I'm very lucky that he's not dodging. Well, it, it did stop raining, so. Aw, oh, come on. Okay, well, we know he can hit, so I can. Shotgun. Come on, we, we gotta be able to get him now. No! 
<laughs> Stop being good. Stop being annoying. There we go. Now you can't dodge. Alright, get him, Elsa. Get him! Ooh, times two, huh? Ho oh, ho! Yes. Nice. Yeah, unfortunately, that took me like, what, two or three turns more than it should have? Oh well. Okay, what is, uh, what money? Let me look at my notes. Uh,. Yeah, we're a bit low on money. 8,000 is what we were supposed to get, but that's because it took me a little bit longer. And 42 average. We hit the average at least. That's good. So I don't have to worry about grinding for EP later. So there's that. Yay. Yeah, sorry for taking so long. <laughs> oh, well. More of them are bound to be on their way. So we don't have much time. Let's get out of here. Yeah, sometimes when I, even when I plan for these fights, I never, I sometimes AI is so weird that in some situations I can't plan for everything, so. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm definitely not the expert on this game, but uh, anyway, continuing. Okay, no time to lose. Hurry, get on. Yeah, he doesn't want to get shot at again by uh, people. But don't you have your anti-pirate rockets? Yeah, aren't they the best thing ever? I mean, they took out that one in one shot. Who knows how much damage those things do, you know, especially at that point. But will Elsa and the crew be able to use the Black Sea to get to the next location? And is Chang loyal enough to stay, stay around, stick around this time instead of running off? And are we going to do another simulation before more plot? Most likely. But find out next time in the next episode of Front Mission 4. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.